Welcome back to another video. Uh, trying to think of some ideas. Tried to play, you know, some neutral sword. Uh, neutral sword is not very good in the meta. It's bad against, you know, burn and dragon. And we kind of came up with this deck. Yeah, I mean, let's just get into the game. Going to play some unranked, but I assure you uh, there are still some very competitive decks in unranked. I played three test games before this, and I found two aggro slash vengeance bloods and an aggro forest. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll just see what we can do. Uh, we lost super, super bad to the aggro bloods, and uh, we actually beat the aggro forest, which was nice. Pious Guardian, uh, Pious Fox, or whatever, Guardian Fox, or whatever it's called. Was able to save us there. I'm gonna put my glasses on, I guess. Uh, I'm just looking to play, you know, I've been playing Shadowverse for the past, you know, been like two hours, you know, recorded about an hour of it, been playing around with random decks for about an hour, but just want to, before we go to dinner, try and uh, come up with something here. Uh, I mean, whatever, man. We're not even running black in scriptures, which is the thing, you know, like, this is just a weird-ass deck list. I'm trying to, you know, like, our opponent, hopefully they're not playing aggro. Okay, no one drop is nice. No one drop is nice. Okay, here we got, uh, you know, we got a hand. I think the amulets, you know, the amulets haven deck that I've been trying to play competitively is, like, 16 amulets or 7, 7 16 to 18. This one is, oh, there, look at that gaseous card right there master sage i think in general this card's just bad it's worse than the healing prayers uh i could see it being worse than star torrent but it's basically another copy of those cards mm, white pollen is whatever here Ooh. Oh, whatever, I'll just play this. I was actually, you know, that Haven meme, if you've ever seen me, uh, with whenever I'm scrolling through the decks, uh, trying to start a new game, Haven meme is basically this deck was uh, similar to this sort of a deck. Now it's called, you know, 25 Amulets, or like Amulet 25 Haven, or who knows what it's called, but it's still not a good deck. I would not recommend playing this deck. Ooh, that's gonna be cool. Hmm, we could crack this. I think we'll, you know, get a little bit of tempo crack it here. I mean, obviously we still have good cards. I mean, Beast Call is still an amazing card. We're running some weird ones though, you know, like one Holy Sentinel, one Devourer of Heavens, one God Steel Wings. I've had to shrink my face cam and, you know, Try and uh, incorporate this more into the shot. There you go. Uh, there you go. That that's gonna be a little nicer there. I think. Because you know, Dex list is so long. There's so many just random one ofs. Ooh, our opponents. Our opponents playing Mars Sword. I'm truly grateful. You know, I am right. I I love that deck, Mars Sword. It's just such a fun deck to be playing. I love myself some Mars Sword, but you know, come on, guy, you got, you got to, you got. If you're gonna play Mars Sword, you you better you should be playing it, you know, in ranked. I think it's a competitive enough deck to be playing in ranked. No, oh, whatever. Well, whatever, man. Come on, RNG. Nice. Yeah, I don't know why I'm playing this deck. Uh, yeah, no, this Pious Fox was very good against Forest. Because wards, you know, bigger wards just tend to be really good against it. A Luminous Mage, okay. Maybe I would might evolve this, actually, if I was my opponent. Okay, I mean I, I guess they don't they don't know that we have a what we have in our hand. I mean healing prayer here is, you know, the nice god draw. Death sentence. I mean, we actually don't have a way to remove that. Whatever, man. 
You think I know what to do? Yeah, I mean, no, I I have nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, but I was actually playing candelabras. Candelabras, I just think, are too slow. And, you know, they do the same thing as a healing prayer or a master sage. And it, the problem is it takes a, a position on the board. So when you're not doing a lot with your amulets, uh, it's just, you know, a pain. Just like Roland's a pain, but... Wow, that's actually pretty funny. Everyone has to do something like this. Come on, RNG! I guess it doesn't actually matter. Funny thing is, here we're gonna be, you know, just slamming this, of course. Right? It's gotta be the, it's gotta be the player, right? You know, this kind of it, it sort of invalidates, you know, the the healing prayers and whatnot. Our opponents, I mean, their 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 win is probably going to come from Albert, you know, trying to rush us down. So we'll see. We will see. This is a at least an intriguing game. You know, we're not playing against you know Blood Agra that I was facing testing this deck. So and this Master Sage, uh, it could it could be correct that it's just supposed to be a Star Torrent. You know, it, it, that's it gives you know. Similar effect, but against aggro it could be a little more helpful. Again, as a life here or there. Come on, man. I mean, so this is now you know four play points destroy two random enemy followers right away, which is nice. Well, assuming this dies, I mean, I don't know what my opponents think. They must have like a good a good amount of decisions. I mean, I I really love Mars Sword the deck my opponents playing. So I appreciate it. Huh. Man, that... Do you see that Master Sage? Aww. I was just going to say, talk about that Master Sage value. But, uh... Unfortunately, our opponent just, uh... Kind of threw us for a loop there. Hmm. So the win condition of the deck is actually there's two Tarnished Grails you should be able to see. As the 8 drop. Uh huh. I mean, this is bloat. Like this is bus open both, which is probably fine actually. Yeah, we'll go with this actually. We'll go ahead and build up a nice board here. I don't think we're in a rush to play this. There's no Aegises, which, you know, some people might be happy because they, they don't like winning. You know, I'm showcasing the, the Heresies Avatar and the Idol of Madness. But, you know, people are saying I'm winning with Aegis anyways. But, you know, they're kind of facilitators, right? In this sense, they are the main win conditions. Because Tarnished Grail is also basically a win condition. Hey man, go for, you go for your Solar Lancer, man. I'm uh, just hoping to draw some powerful cards. I mean, see, with, with this deck, like, we still have a bunch of draw spells in our deck. And they're all really good ones, so. I mean, our opponent used up their last evolution point. That's good for us. Good news. Yeah, cut those wicked down, man. Oh, it's, uh, it's enough for me. Ooh. Oh. Healing prayer is also nice. I mean, healing three is often over, uh, overlooked. It's very good. Oh man, look at this value. What a nice bit of value. We'll uh, blow this up real quick. I don't think our opponent's playing Bahamut. You can't really be playing Bahamut. I can't imagine you're playing Bahamut if you're playing a uh, Roland. You blow up your own thing. I don't think that's possible. 
beautiful. Look at that, clearing the board. We've got a nice, sizable board here. We're probably like bad against like a Leonidas if our opponent's playing that, but I, I can't imagine Leonidas. Like especially maybe Leonidas is still good because it's just a crazy card. But we are just uh, going off here. Uh, this is definitely gonna be the last recording uh, session, the uh, board video of the day. Been playing Shadow Wars for you know the past three hours. I'm starving a little, so uh, we'll uh, play my friend card general. That's a that's a fine card. Come on, second death sentence. No, sec okay. Come on, second death sentence. No second death sentence. See, I, see the, the annoying part is I can't just Themis uh, and blow everything up. Or, like, blow everything and have an Aegis. See, this is why Aegis is so good. Oh, whatever, I'll just play this. I haven't even checked out what the efficient play is, but we're just going for a lot of cards. Hey, man, let's go for this. Let's go. We're trading this in too. Why not trade this in too? Boom. Boom. And we still have, you know, one of these left in hand, which is nice. So I think this is what people kind of imagined is the Amulet Haven deck. Not the Amulet Aegis Haven deck. Show me your moves, man. It's it's hard to it's it is kind of hard to outvalue. Well, I mean it's not hard to outvalue this deck, but this deck has a lot of gas. Is what I'd like to say. It's because you know you have the five draw spells, the globes, and the sacred plays, and in the end game they just become you know draw a bunch of cards. Boom, boom, boom. Huh. So uh. Please excuse me if I'm playing this on unranked and you guys don't think it's competitive enough, but I'm here to say that, you know, unranked isn't just, you know, a bunch of memes because people want to complete their daily eats, so. And, you know, I think this is a fun style of deck, you know. Got to be encouraging having fun, right, in Shadowverse? Because at the end of the day, it's not about, you know, grinding points. It's about having some fun, at the, you know. Uh, Haven, or sorry, Shadow. This is one of the matchups where it probably missed some of those blackened scriptures. We just want, you know, early... Yeah, there we go, we got some early game, uh... Not the greatest cards. I would prefer some one-drops. One-drop arenas. Okay! Here he is! I wonder if our opponent's playing, you know, aggro, mid-range, memes... No, not memes, well, I mean... Oh man. It was always funny to me how the Holy Wing Dragon is, you know, better, you know, Haven gets access to bigger dragons than Dragon does. Our opponent could still be playing some memes. Maybe out of meme is an idea. Let's gas. Here we with a hello. Hmm, it is nice. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we'll just play this. Okay, another Bone Chimera. I, I, eh, it looks like a uh, to me. To me. Oh man, Hollow Dogma would be a beautiful, beautiful draw. Come on. Ugh. Okay, well, Themis is not. Ugh, it's just it's not as good. I'll blow this up.
Yeah, whatever. If they they have Adamy and whatever, who cares, man? We're just here to have some fun. Just want to meet like some sort of controlling deck, man. Like, show me the control blood. Oh no, there's a lurching corpse. I was just gonna say. Okay, I guess not. But no, I guess if as long like, control blood is so good against you know burn rune. Why are people not playing that? But I guess this is oh nice. This is unranked, so you know. We got some memes abound. So it doesn't look like Adam meme. Well it looks like Adam meme, but it doesn't look like our opponent has it. Come on, holo dogma, come on, holo dogma, holo dogma, holo dogma. Poop arena. Ah, oh, whatever, man. You think I know how to play this deck, uh, you would be wrong, because I have no idea what is going on. I just wanted this to blow up a bunch of skeletons. Uh, that's all I wanted. Oh my god. Oh no, here's the Hall of Dogma. So I don't think this is the correct play, but uh, we'll just... Uh, Give our opponent a 4 4. And yeah, I don't think they're playing super aggro, so. Let us go. Shadowverse deck of bad amulets. Saras of Night. Oh, beautiful. Come on! Boom! Hit one of the skeletons plus. Oh, no. Oh, well, there's, there, there is a lot of options here. Is there though? Maybe I'm just lying to myself. Huh. I mean, I guess this is, you know, the safer play. Though, I mean, it's not even that great of a play. Well, we'll even slam this out. We are running a little low on cards, which, I mean... Of course, every time you know I make a statement, uh, it kind of gets disproven. So maybe I should stop making s some statement ideas. No, uh, maybe our opponent's just playing some sort of mid range shadow deck. I mean, it's possible, and they're probably gonna slam down a bunch of random stuff here. Because I mean, the death sentence is on the board. Hmm. Come on, RNG. Double Ceres, please. Come on. Oh. Man, that was super beneficial for opponents. Yeah, we'll just do this. And we'll even slam out of our master our master sage because oh I guess that was yeah. oh hmm it's a good thing we played this first but I forgot that you know this pumps see I, I, I never remember this that this gives plus zero plus one because okay that's interesting another situation where I would much prefer having uh you know black scriptures. I mean, that, that has to be the play. I know my opponent is the test of strength now, but I can't, like, deal with that. I, I can't do anything about it. Let's see if they have it. There it is, the test of strength. 
See, the annoying, sort of annoying part here is that I actually do not want this to die. Because I want to be able to cast Death Sentence and draw a card of Hollow Dog, want to cycle it out. Okay, I mean, it looks like it's not dying. We're, I think we're, we're still like pretty live in this situation. Come on, come on, has to play something, right? Foul Tempest. Okay, just want to get some value out of this. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll draw some cards. Come on, where where's the Grail? Where are the Grails, man? I know they're in this deck. Okay, well, our opponent doesn't have much here, but... How does this work? Hmm. Prince of Darkness. Well, I don't know if I was expecting that. Maybe I was. I'm still nice to see my opponent, though. Uh, a little unfortunate there that we didn't get the Tarnished Grails, but uh, this is whatever. We're just dead to most of the cards that they can draw. Hmm. I mean, I could see this sort of a deck actually being pretty good, maybe. Uh, maybe not, because, you know, it's bad against Dragon. And it doesn't have enough healing against Burn. That's kind of how I judge things these days. We'll get one last game. Thank you guys for sticking around if you're this far in. This is going to be a longer video. But no, this is, you know, what people imagined when uh, I'm saying, you know, Heresy's Avatar, Eidolon of Madness. I kind of don't really want to, you know, I'm looking at it, I don't really necessarily want to spend too many vials on, you know, Heresy's Avatar, Eidolon, uh, Zodiac Demon. I have like 5,000 vials left, so, you know, one legendary and a bunch of, you know, maybe some golds. But, uh, Chronogenesis is actually releasing pretty soon, I think, in the next couple of weeks, so... Kind of want to save up some rupees, uh, save up some vials to try and get some Chronogenesis. Chronogenesis. No, please! Uh, I thought I could avoid you... Okay, well, yeah, yeah I don't know. We, I don't know about this. Ah, you know, I asked for the Tarnished Grail at the end of the last game, and here we are. So, I guess they can say, ask and you shall receive. How about we ask for a playable amulet for turn number dos, dos, two, R. Uh, it's going to be one of those games, isn't it? Well, at least it'll make the video short, right? Ooh, Dragon Emissary. I'm like, as expecting, expecting Discardio. Wow, this is just bad. I mean, there's a reason we play some of these, like, random two-drop amulets. Ah, there it is. I'm actually just going to remove that. I'm guessing our opponent's playing discard, you know. Based off no, like, no more information than just the Dragon Emissary, I, I want to say our play, opponent's playing discard. And, you know, that two damage to the face can matter. Though, I mean, our opponent being super quick on the draw here also matters, so. Yeah, it's, you know, give and take. Of course, our opponent's not going to choose to combo off. Yeah, oh yeah. It's definitely discard. Opponent doesn't want to say hi. Uh, I am still thinking it's a discard. Though I ne actually never tried Star Phoenix in discard. Because I haven't all played that deck in a long, long time. Lol.
Like, all I can say is lol. Hmm, I mean, it's a decent board, right? We would have preferred it, uh, you know, Tarnished Grail, but... Our opponent can choose to go off here, depending on what sort of removal they have. Yeah, something like a Dragoon Sight there, you know. I mean, they, they just go after, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so depending on what removal options they had, yeah, Fervor was what I expected as well. So they're going to choose to go off on next turn. I mean, our hand, like, sucks. Our board just sucks. Oh, see, I thought I had a Heresy's Avatar. So, okay, well. I do have a Heresy's Avatar, but I, I thought I had a... I thought I was going to blow up right away. I mean, I guess we can go for face damage. We do have to win the game somehow. But, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't expect the Hollow Dogmas to be active here. I heard deck has played out slow enough where Discard Dragon has been able... Will be able to uh, activate the combo. Produce the combo there. We'll, we'll say that. Produce the combo. Huh, it looks like our opponent's not scared of uh, the Eidolon of Madness. Now then. Funny enough, oh, we can't even kill with Astaroth's Reckoning. And we just can't kill our opponent next turn. Okay, well, I guess Grimnir's a thing. Maybe, I guess, what what is our opponent playing? Like, this, uh, they have to be only playing discard, right? What the heck is going on? What the heck is going on? Guess we just play this. Hmm. I mean, we wanted to see Tarnished Grail, so I mean, it did show up. Maybe our opponent just has only one Wild Fang Dragon, then they just try. And, okay. Here, I guess our opponent decided, you know, that they can combo off on this turn. But. I mean, I guess that doesn't matter, but. You know, they're, they're either BMing us or, you know, they didn't get it. So I guess it doesn't really matter if you look at it, if you have two, if you're going to go for, you know, with two Wild Fang Dragon Utes, uh, as long as you have at least five cards after the Altered Fate, it doesn't matter. So at that point, uh, you don't need to have the maximum nine cards, because I was wondering, you know, opponent's not keeping nine cards. Uh, it doesn't matter. As long as you have seven cards, you draw into the eighth, play the two Wild Fangs, Opponent's going for the YOLO. Are the only chance they have. Boom! And that is why I don't think Discard Dragon, like, you know, Wild Fang Dragon New Dragon is a good deck. But, uh, no, I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, we played against some weird decks. You know, some meme ring decks. We played against, you know, some more competitive decks, you know, tier 2, tier 3 decks. And uh, I did do hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it was, a little, you know, a bit of a break from all the competitive, you know, stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy that. And uh, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys later.